This is the ThinkQuest login screen. The first thing you will do when you get your account is you need to put your username and password up here in these boxes here. When your account is created, a username that looks something like this will um, be created. Every username will have an extension on it, and that extension will be unique to your school. So my school is Aspen Grove School. Um, so every teacher and student at my school has the extension .aspen in their username and the password will always be a combination of numbers and letters. So let's just put that in here. Aspen and the password is 93joker56 and we will log in. The next thing you'll have to do is accept the think.com terms of use. And I have taken this terms of use and put it through uh, Eulalizer. And it looks something like this. The license agreement above has a fairly low calculated interest ID. Uh, so you could feel fairly safe accepting it. Your students will have to take a copy of this, a paper copy of this home for their parents to sign before you can set them up with an account. When your students sign in for the first time, they will actually not see this. They will have a slideshow on acceptable behavior policy um, of this platform. So we will accept the terms of use. And now you can see your first page. The first thing you will want to do once you've gotten logged in is actually change your password to one you can remember and you can do that by clicking on my account up here in the top right hand corner and then down here at the bottom you can see it says change my password so you need to change your password you will need to remember the password that uh, the ThinkQuest platform gave you 93joker56 and now you can type in a new password that you can remember keeping in mind that it has to be a combination of letters and numbers. As you can see, I tried to use a password that had a T in it, which is the same as the first letter of my username, and so it won't let me do that. It's a fairly robust password system on this platform. So I'll pick a new password. reset my password. The other thing that most people like to do when they first log into their page is change their icon and if you click on the icon in the top left hand corner you can build your own icon. So I have chosen to be a squinting robot and now I'll click save and now I am all set up and ready to start using ThinkQuest.